Hello and welcome to this video where we will be taking a look at the new snapshot for Minecraft 19W05A. Welcome to this series where we are taking a look at the newest snapshots for Minecraft and taking a look at what they contain. Let's get started. Alright, so this snapshot is pretty interesting. We have some new additions, but also some changes. Let's take a look at some of the new additions first, or all of the new additions, I should say. And those are being Wanderer, a Wanderer Trader, and a Trader Llama. Now, if you didn't know, the Llama has been in the game for quite a while. So if you see here, Llama Spawn Egg. We have, then we have Trader Llama Spawn Egg right here, and the normal lava, Llama Spawn Egg, and we also have a Trader, so tr Wandering Trader, which you can find throughout the world, just, just there. So, let's take a look, a closer look at what these mobs are and what they do. Let's, I will try and fly around and try and read this while... I'm searching, so let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh, there we go, some normal llamas right there. But those are not new, they've been in the game for quite a while. Anyways, trader llamas um, are the same as normal llama, but have blue and gold um, decorations. So like carpet thingy. You know what, let's let's spawn one. Let's spawn one right... Oh, that, that was the normal llama. Let's, let's spawn this guy. There you go, that is the trader llama. Um, they can be equipped with carpets as normal llamas, original carpet, this, reappears when the carpet is taken off. So if we take a carpet, uh, let's take this one, right, light brew. oh. Does that seem like he wants it on? Maybe, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I, I haven't studied these llamas very much. <laughs> but there you go, that, oh, oh boy, he's, he's not gonna be happy now, oh boy, I thought it was far enough away. Um, Speaking of that, uh, they are hostile towards all illagers except for Ravagers, which we'll get to in a moment. Um, zombies, zombie pigmen, zombie villagers, husk and drowns, those they will not be hostile towards. Uh, actually, sorry. They will be hostile to zombies, zombie pigmen, zombie villagers, husks and drowns. I read that wrong. Um, they are separate entities from llamas and a temper... Tem temperament temperamental <laughs> around players. What a word. Um so that is basically those. They they oh, you can actually sit on them, that's pretty cool. Um but they are also wandering traders, which we have right here. Now they seem like villagers, but I believe they are a different entity. Let's take a look. Um uh, found in random places around the world, provides various random trades from a variety of different biomes. So as you can see he has some flowers, he has some seeds, melon seeds, that's actually pretty OP. Um, jungle sapling, that's really good. Gunpowder, and I like his sounds, it's very different. Um, trade times are limited, locked trades are not unlockable but conducting other trades, so that's cool. Are always surrounded by a few trader llamas, are separate entities from villagers, and they appear to be villagers but their spawn location sounds and trades differ. So you know what, let me get a emerald, I want to test something real quick here. So if I were to buy some gunpowder of you, would you then give me more trades? No, he has not unlocked any more trades. What if I buy a stack? Like... Yeah, okay. <laughs> that, um... That did not happen. Also, I believe that is a bug. As you can see, it does not take my emerald if you shift click. They gotta change that or fix that ASAP. But as you can see, if I click just like this, okay, he has quite a few of them. And then he locks them. Okay. So that is that, and he did not unlock any more. And try something else to unlock, but I, it says. It says here on the wiki that it is not unlockable by conducting other trades. So they gotta cheat that. He's kinda annoying to listen to right now. Well, that's pretty much that. Of course, they added their sp separate spawn eggs. So that and that. And I really wanna try and find some in the wilderness just like that. So I'll be on the lookout for that. 
Um, but while while we're thinking about that, lanterns now have a new placing and breaking sound. Listen to this. That's really cool. I like it. All right, hello there. Um, I'm cutting in from the future here because I got some information I want to add about the wandering trader, um, both with behavior and also spawning. I did explain this stuff, but it was unclear and things were messed up on the VK thing and yeah. So I'm gonna do it again. So uh, real quick about the spawning. The wandering trader appears randomly across the world or periodically in village gathering sites, usually near village meeting points with one or two leashed trader farmers. That's cool. At any time, there can only be one wandering trader in the world. That's important. And I hope they change that because in a multiplayer server, let's say there are 24 people doing an SMP or something like that, and there can only be one wandering trader. Yeah, I guess it's okay. I guess it's cool. Um, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It might just be me. Anyways, after 24,000 ticks or 20 real life minutes have, pa have passed since the world has created, the game will start to attempt spawning a wandering trader. If there are no wandering traders currently in the world, the game tries to spawn a new wandering trader after every following 24,000 ticks within a 48 block radius of a player. The first spawn attempt has a 2.5% chance that one will spawn. If it fails, after another 24,000 ticks, another spawn attempt will be made with a 5% chance of success. If that fails, for all subsequent spawn attempts, the chance will cap at 7.5% after 48,000 or 72,000 ticks. The trader, along with its llamas, will despawn and reset the cycle. In Bedrock Edition, when using spawn eggs or the size summon command to spawn a wandering trader, the llama, the llamas will always spawn with it. All right, that's really cool. Now on to the behavior. So the wandering trader has six random traits in Java edition or four in Bedrock edition. New traits are not unlocked after trading with it. That's cool. Um, I guess it kind of makes sense. After spawning, the wandering trader will have a managed schedule for 40 to 60 minutes. After the time expires, the wandering trader will despawn. Um, the wandering trader can sometimes form a caravan due to the wild llamas that follow the leashed trader llama. That's really cool as well, I can't wait to see that. Wandering traders will avoid zombies and their variants, all, illogical variants, all their illogical variants and vexes, staying at least 8 blocks away, and wandering traders will still despawn even if named with a name tag. That is very important to note as well. And if you were to kill this wandering tra trader, poor guy, uh, when killed, the wandering trader will unleash its trader llamas and drop two leashes at the position of each of the trader llamas. All right, so here are some notes on the trading of these guys. Um, let me just see here. Trading allows the acquisition of rare items that would otherwise be fairly difficult to obtain, such as coral or blue ice. That's really cool. In Java edition, after 2 to 12 times an offer is repeated, the wandering trader will lock the trade offer and the wandering trader will no longer offer this trade permanently. That You have to remember that one, <laughs> because that's, that's different than the normal villagers. And then unlike normal villagers, wandering traders only offer the player sell trades, which means the player can only use emeralds in exchange for an item. Players cannot exchange items for emeralds. I guess he's only out for the money. The other villagers are actually out for items as well. Huh. I have to remember that one too. And that is pretty much all I wanted to add to that. The as I said, the wiki got changed a bit, so I already explained it, but I wanted to explain it um, in, a, in a better way. So I hope that clears it out. Moving on with the rest of the stuff in this video. Hope you will enjoy. See ya. Binary Vigilante from the future, signing off. The first change that we're going to be taking a look at is the composter. Two changes. Um, the first change is changed how often the player fills a layer. I don't know what that means. Because each item has its own. Actually, let's just get a pie. Uh, change how often the player fills a layer. I guess that is that's a general meaning of the next change. Um items which used to have a test project 
10 percent chance. Now we have a thirty percent chance. Twenty percent change to fifty percent. Fifty change to six five, and eighty change to eighty five. So that is the compulsory changes. And here is the Ravenger thing. Renamed Illusion Beast Spawnake to Ravenger Spawnake. Yes, these big fellas right here are no longer called Illusion Beasts. They are called Ravagers, or singular Ravager. <laughs> so, yeah. They've got that. And also change the ID of Ravager Spawn Egg to Ravager underscore spawn underscore egg. And the Ravagers again ID changed to Ravager. The I guess the mob ID. So there you go, that's cool. Um we got another a big uh, not a big another change here. Um commands in commands. Um slash force load query. So slash force this command force load query. Um, can now be executed by command blocks and, f and functions, so that is cool. And then we pretty much only have 16 issues fixed from the 1.14 development versions. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this snapshot. If you've got any questions, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe and enable notifications. Be sure to follow... Oh boy, <laughs> my mouth. <laughs> be sure to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord server linked down below. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. I'm very excited about, about the 1.14 update. I can't wait till it's out. So yeah, I can't wait. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.